Nothing in this section. Move on to the next. Quickly. Cameron needs to know if he's right. Mr. Cameron, thank you for waiting. I only wish I had better news. I'm afraid the board felt your offer was just not substantial enough. Oh, dear. That is a shame. I'm very sorry. I wonder if I could prevail upon the board to wait just a few minutes. I may be able to augment our offer. I think we're nearly there. Hold it. Six inches forward. That's it. We've got it. You hear that, Cameron? Sector B, where you thought it would be. Mr. Witcher. Uh, speak to you later. What are you doing? What's it to you? You've got no right to be here. I think you'll find things are about to change. Gentlemen, in light of recent developments, I am now able to radically revise our previous offer to take over your company. Are you ready for go? Yes, sir. Unfortunately, it will now be a hostile takeover. so I just popped round to let you know I can get paint at trade price. Oh, right. Well, that, that's very kind of you, very thoughtful. Just being neighbourly. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> no CDs, just vinyl. Oh, I'm afraid when it comes to music, I'm a bit of a, uh, a purist. The amp looks powerful. Yeah, well, if I play my music too loud, You'll just have to bang on the floor. <laughs> Tim friends what you play. I may like it. <laughs> this looks very professional. Yeah, well, it's second nature. It's all part of my job. Are you an electrician? Yeah. Yeah, I am. Oh. Hello. Rose. Uh, this is Krista. <laughs> Krista's my neighbour from uh, upstairs. Hi, nice to meet you. Roz works with me. Are you an electrician too? Yeah. Roz has always been a bit of a bright spark. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jan needs us. All right, I'll just get my jacket. Jan? It works with a lot of women, doesn't he? Yeah. We're very progressive electricians. Oh. I'm meeting the others at eight and thought, well, if you're free, maybe you would like to... Eight o'clock? Yeah, that should be fine. Shall we eat afterwards? Oh, yes, that's the plan. OK, great. Um, Adam, I've got to go. Can't wait to see you. Yeah, and me. <laughs> Bye. Bye. What's the matter? Nothing. Jan wants us. OK. Thank you for joining us. Right, Sanaman PLC. Their success is founded on the storage and disposal of toxic waste. 
But suddenly, the company has started to behave rather strangely. They've been dumping their muck at the council tip. They are refusing to accept any more toxic waste at the Athersbury Point site. Well, maybe the site's full up. Then how do you explain this? A recruiting ad. It's for people to operate excavating equipment. So Salomon are actually enlarging their storage areas. The Waste Management Authority say there's provision for another 50 years. Then what are the company doing? I don't know. But if Athersbury Point is closed down, there's going to be a real crisis. Dangerous waste is already piling up at industrial sites. Well, it's easy. One of us should apply for the job and find out what's going on from the inside. <laughs> no. Mr. Beckett, take a seat, please. Beckett, that's perfect. Johnny, you're getting this. Thank you, Rose. Sound and vision. Thank you. Bye. Mr. Beckett? Good luck. Thank you. Very impressive CV, Mr. Beckett. Thank you. Might have been specially designed. Are you implying something? It doesn't take a genius to forge one of these. Everything on there is absolutely straight. Between 94 and 98, you weren't working? Well, not exactly, no. In prison? Were you? Knew they'd fall for it. What if I was? No matter. This job, is it dangerous? Not as such. But she'd be working in a dangerous environment. It's a toxic waste dump. None of the crime databases has anything on this guy. But I've got a reference here in the Wessex Journal of Archaeology. What? When you say uh, toxic waste, what are we talking about here? Heavy metals? Like? What, cadmium? Mercury? Everything's in sealed drums. There are other poisons, sodium cyanide, I mean. As I said, Beckett, don't push him. He's obviously not an expert. I'm just interested in finding the right men for the work. OK, well, whatever you've got stored down there. I'll do the job. You know how difficult it is to get work when you've got a record. I can imagine. Eli Cameron. The job is. It's the same man. He's got a master's degree in Romano-British archaeology. Why is an archaeologist interested in a toxic waste dump? So, I'm the electrician's mate to the chief electrician, am I? Oh, no, you can't answer back, can you? What a shame. Look at it. Looks like you're heading for Athersbury Point. Now, it's full of class one nasty, so be careful. Jan and Alex are still trying to find a connection to archaeology. Athersbury Point. The name Athersbury derives from Arthursburg or Arthur's Town, so called because it is reputed to have connections with King Arthur. Like everywhere else in Britain. I thought this job wasn't dangerous. It's not the work. Turner's got a heart problem. Heart problem? Rubbish. You look like you could use a doctor yourself. It's the job. You want to get out while you can. What keeps you here? Good question. <laughs> I've lost the original workforce now that Turner's gone. What the heck was that? Blasting. They're clearing the area where they want us to dig.
you know what we're digging for? All I know is it's making me ill. Do you think we should be in protective suits? Probably. Are you okay? When I've shifted this lot, I'm knocking off for the night. I don't care about overtime. I'm dead on my feet. Something in here got to. Which of you? Look. Shoulders. What a find. Beautiful. Exquisite. Nearly 1,500 years old. And it proves me right. So, the hoard is there. Oh, believe me. This is but the beginning. If the treasure's there, perhaps we should all have a share. A share? Vigo? Aren't you happy with what you're being paid? Well, yes, but... This I... is no time to think about money. We're on the verge of an historic discovery. Mr Cameron, I only... We'll talk about it later. The gold charm we found brought Cameron down here at top speed. Archaeology is what this is all about. Really? Cameron must think he's on to the find of the century. At least. There's also some mystery illness going around. A toxic waste leak? Sure. They took Connors down to hospital. But, Roz, I think I could use some backup. Safety standards here are second to none. How can they be? Two of your men have been rushed to hospital. And we've just had the news that Mr. Turner didn't make it. Oh, that's very sad. I knew his heart was weak. We don't think it was his heart. This place needs to be thoroughly checked. I understand you're digging new tunnels. To enlarge the storage facilities, yes. Look, the excavations have been reported to the Hazardous Materials Agency. You should have a record of it. Yes, we'll look into that later. First, we'd like to tour the site. Be my guest. These drums are supposed to be designed to last a thousand years. Yeah, we've all heard that one before. Why did you let those people on site? They're meant to be running a toxic waste dump. They were right to be here. Let them do their job. They'll see there's nothing leaking and go. But what if there is a leak? Why did those guys die? And how did the hazmat people get to hear about the death so quickly? interested in toxic waste at all, are you? Give me the coin. You want this? Come and get it.
when he comes round, find out what he knows and who sent him. I'll take radio. The inscription says Ryo Thomas. Who was he? How do you spell it? R I O T H A M U S. Was he some kind of king? Here it comes. Yes, Ryo Thomas, the sixth century British king. Mm. Some historians say he may be the basis for the King Arthur stories. Cameron's not the sort of person to go after unsubstantiated myth and legend. But there's some truth to the myths after all. Are you suggesting Cameron thinks he's found King Arthur's tomb? Dr. Ross Henderson. Oh, Dr. Hemmings. Hi. Hi. Yeah, um, I understand you're interested in the deaths up at Athersbury Point. Deaths? I thought there was only one, a man called Turner. No, no, I'm afraid a Mr. Connors died shortly after arrival. That makes two, both with the same symptoms. Toxic poisoning? No, the preliminary post-mortem doesn't bear that out at all. Then what killed them? Well, I'm running tests. You'll have to wait for the results. But I think there's something deadly at Athersbury Point. You two, use your shovels down there. I've got something here. Yeah. I'll take that. Here, here, give it to me. Good. I thought the survey showed the main hold was a few metres away. Yes, but we're bound to find the old piece nearby. Yeah. Not exactly Excalibur. Don't be too sure. This is just the sort of sword a sixth century warrior king would have. My theory is about to be vindicated. What are you looking at? Back to work. <laughs> <coughs> Look. Vigo. I've been working on this project for years. If we're successful, it's because of my efforts. Look, it's a passion for you. It's just a job to me. Oh, Vigo, for which you've been well paid. Don't forget, the monetary value of these artefacts isn't important. We're writing our names in the history books with these discoveries. Well, maybe for you. I still prefer percentage. I don't want to change the deal we've arranged. Are you sure? It's my final word. And that's mine. please, immediately. Just like the men at Athersbury Point, but how did she get ill? She was one of the team looking after them. <sighs> You're joking. But that means it's infectious. Precisely. The implications are obvious. Doctor, if we don't treat this or find a cure or something, we could have an epidemic on our hands. Look 
Elliot thinks Cameron may be right. If they have found King Arthur's treasure, then we're going to have to recover it. <coughs> You're all right. Fine. <clears throat> it's just a cough. I'll get some water. Can you see it all right? Yes, thanks. It's a bacterium. That's right. So I killed those men and made the charge nurse sick. It's an extremely fast-acting bacillus. Do you know which one? No. No, it's like nothing I've ever seen before. But it does seem to come from the waste dump. Yeah, but it doesn't affect everybody, or there'd be more victims by now. That's right. Some people must have immunity to it. Do the victims have any common characteristics? Well, the charge nurse has very blonde hair with blue eyes. Connors was the same. What about the first victim? Also blonde with blue eyes. See you too. <laughs> Jan, we have a serious problem. Dr. Hemmings has identified what killed those men. The bacterium is a kind of plague. Plague? Yes, I know, I know it's difficult to believe. But trust me, there is no doubt. Now, some of us will have inherited immunity to it, and some of us won't. Ross, hang on. I've got Ed and Beckett on the other line. I'm patching them through. This whole site is a major public health hazard. We should shut it down immediately. Yep, we agree. I'll alert non response squad. We'll be over there as soon as we can and shut down the site. Boys, make sure you're not caught in any crossfire, eh? I knew there was something fishy about that guy. You can't just give up. Not when we're this close. Three of us cannot hold out against an armed response squad. Maybe there's another way. Beckett, are you and Ed all right? We're fine. OK. How do we know who's immune to this? Hard to tell, but those affected have similar features. Well, like what? Blonde hair, blue eyes. Alex? Alex? Listen, Cameron's dig is unearthed some terrible germ. It's, it's unleashed a, a deadly virus. You've got to get out now. Go, now! She's a friend? Yep. We work together. She was investigating the site at Athersbury Point. I'm really sorry. I suppose this proves our theory about who's vulnerable. Yeah. Now all we have to do is find a cure. Where the hell are we? Hold on. They must have heard us talking to Jan. Oh, damn. OK, come on. Infected by the coin you gave her. What about getting the rest of the treasure? Look, do what you can. The most important thing is to stop this infection spreading. The sword. Oh, the... What? We found a sword. Vigo ran off with it before you arrived. If the sword's infected like the coin, then it could spread the bacteria anywhere.
These are the most powerful antibiotics we have, and they're having no effect. You said you never come across this type of bacteria before. Maybe we need something specific to this germ. What? Something custom made? Exactly. Right, well, we'll... You'll need a sample of the bacteria in its natural form. I'll get it. Roz, I'm afraid there's every probability that this won't work. Alex is dying. We have to do what we can. This manhunt needs all the resources at our disposal. That's why I seconded you people from the hive. You all know your assignments, so get going. And good luck. Jan, are we working alongside the Bureau team? Uh, no, Adam, not immediately. They've been uh, deployed elsewhere. I expect you'll see Alex later. Oh, we have a date tonight in any case. soil sample. It'll keep the bacteria secure so I can get it back to the lab. Okay. Wait, isn't Beckett going with you? There's no need for us both to go. Yeah, but I mean, are you sure you're feeling all right? Absolutely fine. Ed, you are fair with blue eyes. Look, my ancestors could be from Mars for all I know, but if we need this to cure Alex, I'll get it. Anyway, look, if I get ill, it can cure me too. It's about blonde hair and blue eyes. It's just a theory, you know. I mean, are you sure you feel all right? I'm fine. I've had mumps, I've had measles, I've had chicken pox. Oh, Nick, they're viruses. This is a bacteria. I know, Ross. Look, doesn't matter what it's called. If it's got your number on. yourselves to look for the treasure before you use that little lot. That's difficult. Obviously, we've got to seal this infection in, but I don't particularly want to go down in history as the man who destroyed King Arthur's treasure. Hey! Here's the mud pack for Alex. Hope it works. So do I. If it doesn't, there'll be no going back for more. You two be careful, yeah? Okay. Got this one. Ready? Come on. Have you got something for me? We found Vigo's car. It looks like he caught one of the rapid transit trains, but there's no sign of the sword. Yes, very nice. <laughs> Fresh from the ground, I see. I'm sure it would clean up very nicely, Raymond. Are you happy with the price? If that's your final offer. Oh, it is. Well, then I'm happy. £15,000 won't kill. They're everywhere. Isn't there another way to get back in? That gate's our best option. We're so close to the treasure. I can't bear it. Be patient. Soil sample. Good. 
Right, let's get to work. Interesting piece. Sixth century, I'd say. And very rare. I, I couldn't take less than 30,000. It's virtually what I paid for it. I could go to 25,000. Yeah, all right. I'm taking a huge risk, you know. It's no good. The antigen produced from the new bacteria isn't thriving like it should. I'm sorry, Roz. It just isn't working. We have to do something. I know. We have all this technology and it seems useless. All this technology, that's it. We've been looking at this completely the wrong way. What do you mean? This is a 6th century plague. Right. Now, maybe we have to fight it with 6th century methods. I have Newton toe of bat. <laughs> no, maybe something a little more subtle, like, like the difference between vinyl and CD. We have to think analogue, not digital. We've got all the right ingredients. We're just not putting them together properly. So it could be the method of preparation. Exactly. You heat substances by flame, not in a microwave. You cool them on ice, not by electricity. You use natural containers, not plastic. Money in the bag, Mark Raven's bikes. Well, then track him down. Dr. Thorstenson? Bjorn, <laughs> how are you? Good. Oh, I'm very well indeed. And I have something here that I know you will give your eye teeth for. What about a disease? This is the biggest haul of Dark Ages treasure ever. I'm not giving in because of a few germs. People have died. None of us have any symptoms. You can stand here and wait. We're going in. Careful how you handle it. Do you think Alex will be OK? Yeah, I'm sure she'll be fine. OK, what do you really think? Looks pretty serious. I guess it is, Ed. 50-50? I'm afraid it might be worse than that. You and Alex. That never really got started, did it? It doesn't mean I don't care about her. Let's get digging. John, how long before it'll work? I don't know. I've got to go. Good luck.
60,000. It's a bit steep. I am hardly turning a profit. Well, okay. But how do I explain to my trustees that I've spent the whole museum acquisition budget in one go? You'll think of something. <coughs> You know, Cameron must have had strong evidence the tomb was here. Well, I'm not going to set the timer yet. How much longer are we going to give it? Well, you're getting spooked. Yeah. It's a ghost of King Arthur. <laughs> have you got anything? Yeah, look at this. Stand back, Mr. Beckett. What do you want? Come back for what's ours, of course. The objects you found are all infected. Your digging's unearthed bacteria. It's causing a plague. Well, we're all OK. We're here to seal this site. We set explosives all around, but we haven't laid them properly yet. Get rid of them, Frame. No, no, no! Don't cut the cables. That'll detonate the explosives. They're bluffing. This is the place. I trace it from the bag of money I found. Look, I know nothing about this, Mr. Vigo. I sell bikes, and I know nothing at all about this sword. Raymond, we are not interested in your illegal trading. We are trying to stop an epidemic. The sword is infected. What? Anyone who touches it might die. So where is it now? This antique shop's not far. Roz, where's Alex working? What? Is she chasing this Cameron? Adam, hasn't anyone told you? Told me what? Adam, Alex is in the hospital. There's nothing here. There must be. This place was robbed centuries ago. What's going on? What have you found? It's just a load of old bones. There's no treasure. I must be here, I'm sure of it. A Viking inscription. It's a warning about the sickness in the soil. The plague. All these people died of the plague. These are skeletons of people who came to rob the graves, the Vikings. If they succumbed to the plague, Treasure's got to be here. The paramedics have just arrived. He looks in terrible shape. We're trying to trace the buyer.
Ed, Cameron's dead. You're gonna have to leave him. Just keep hold of the rope. James lives. You think you could show me? Yeah, all right, go. I'm from the bureau. Look, James found a sword and it's infected. I have to get it off him. Where is he? God's sake, he's over there in the park. Doctor. Doctor, look. It's going to be all right. You said you work for decorators. Yeah. Mm. I do the bookkeeping and answer the phone. Oh, I see. <laughs> Why? Don't you think I'm making a good job of it? Oh, it's fantastic. Oh. It's just that you seem to have got um, as much paint on your face as on the walls. Oh, God, I found it awful. <laughs> Come here, I'll get it off for you. Come here. <laughs> Smudging a bit. <laughs> Are we interrupting? Oh, Ross. Um, now, Chris is just helping me uh, with the decorating. Yeah, right. If you've got guests, I'd better go. Well, listen, thank you. Thank you very much. I'll see you next. OK, bye. 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 Uh, we've got the museum to look at this stone you picked up in the uh, tomb. Yeah, Cameron was right. It is 6th century. And probably royalty. Yeah, maybe even Arthur. Never know. Vikings raided it years ago. All they left was their plague, a few skeletons, and these runic inscriptions. Viking graffiti. Some guy called Sven left his mark. Oh. Any idea what it says? The museum gave us a rough translation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, so what words of wisdom did Sven leave for posterity then? 
Vikings rule, okay? <laughs> Alex! 